Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be telling you what you'll need for your first horse. So cue the intro and we'll get right to it. So first of all, before thinking of getting your own horse, I would definitely say get some horse riding lessons if you don't already ride and try sharing a horse first as well. It really gives you a good idea on what sort of duties you might have to do on a daily basis without having to commit full time to it. And also you can change your mind and just stop sharing as well. Now, what you do want to think about is where you're going to keep your horse. We call it in England livery, so you will have different types of livery. I've got a whole video on different types of livery, so do check that out. I think it's like boarding in America, so same sort of thing. It might be a little bit different in America or other places, but that's basically how we do it here. You might want to consider whether your horse is going to be in a field all the time, or if actually you think you need a stable to stable it at night or stable it throughout the night in the winter. So do have a good think about this and it will depend on what horse you end up getting. Now, I think the first good thing to talk about is the rider. If you are gonna be riding your horse, you wanna think about having a few of your own things first because it's really good to be able to sort of build up what you're gonna buy because it can be quite expensive. So you can start off by getting yourself a riding hat. You can also start off by getting yourself then some riding boots. I'd say they are the two really important things for yourself that you're going to need. Um, you can then think about getting extra things like um, riding leggings and jodhpurs or breeches, as well as riding gloves, whips, um, all, all those sorts of things. But initially, you definitely need a hat and your riding boots. And then if you are gonna be eventing or doing cross country, or you just want a bit of extra protection, then you might wanna consider getting a body protector as well. So first of all, we're gonna talk about a few things for the horse. So you will need water buckets. And I don't just mean one, I would definitely say get at least like two buckets. One for in their stable, and then I actually have another one to help fill up his water bucket because you don't want to be carrying really big buckets of water because it can get really, really heavy. And also it's really good to have a bucket to wash them off. You can have another bucket to be able to have hot water in it and warm water in it to clean your tack and things. So buckets are great. You can use them for literally so many things just to put hay in to make it a little bit tidier whilst they're tied up eating hay anything so yeah definitely get yourself some buckets we also have feed bowls as well or feed buckets so you're definitely going to need these to feed your horse whether you need one because you only feed them once a day or if you need two because you feed them twice a day you may also want to consider getting some hay nets not everyone has hay nets however it is a really really good idea to get them if you're soaking your hay or you wet your hay or if it's quite easy to tie it up rather than just putting it on the floor because they can make a lot more of a mess out of it as well in their stable. When you have your feed buckets, you're also gonna need some feed to put in them. This is something you will wanna ask the previous owner what they're on now because when they are put onto something else or different feed, it can really affect their digestive system. So do check what they're on now, slowly take them off something and slowly bring them onto something if you are gonna change it around. The next thing you're going to need is also a grooming box. So grooming box it can have quite a few things in there. You can even take a look online on what sort of things people have or let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a sort of what's in my grooming box and how to use it. Um, but typically you want like a hoof pick, you want like a body brush, you might want a dandy brush, sponges, just a few things that you can just generically get your horse clean. A few other things to consider is like mane and tail spray or if it's the same sort of time of the year that you're getting your horse as it is now in the summer, you might want some fly spray, shampoo, conditioner, sponges are really, really good because not only are you gonna sponge your horse down, but it's really good for cleaning down things at the yard as well and your tack. So definitely get a few sponges. 
you're definitely going to need a head collar for your horse now when you first get your horse they may come with the head collar you may need to get one and obviously that depends on how big or small the horse is so this will be something that you'll have to get once you know which horse you think you're going to buy but something you can buy beforehand is the lead ropes so you can get a couple of lead ropes because like i say things like this on a yard can always break if a horse steps on it or something so if you get some lead ropes they're a generic size majority of the time so you know you can definitely get those before the next thing you're going to need is yard tools so we've got like shaving forks uh brooms some people might want just a generic fork instead i do have shavings in my bed so i'll use a shaving fork if you've got straw, you might want to use some other things. Um, definitely get yourself some tools to muck out. However, this does come down to your livery as well. They may have the water buckets, they may have all the tools and you might not even need to muck out. So just double check what you are and aren't going to be doing when you have your horse to what you're going to need. You will need a lot more things if you're going to be on like DIY or assisted DIY livery. Another thing you're going to need if you're going to be mucking out is a wheelbarrow. They are so handy, not just to muck out and to poo pick in the fields, but to put heavy water buckets in so you can wheel them to your stable, put your tack in if you're going to have to take your tack quite far. So wheelbarrows can be really, really handy. Next thing you're going to need, if your yard doesn't already provide it, is the bedding you're going to use in your stable and the hay that your horse is going to eat as well. I use shavings, so I'll buy my bags of shavings. However, at my friend's yard, they already do it for her. They already have the hay and things. You don't need to order it yourself. So if you do need to order it yourself, just see where you can get that locally or ask the yard that you're going to where they typically get theirs and maybe you can order from the same same company. Now, when it comes to riding your horse, if you're gonna be riding your horse, you will need the tack, and this is something you really don't know what they need until you get, you get them, basically, until you get your new horse. Some new horses come with tack, some don't. So if they don't, you will have to get like the saddler out and get them measured just to make sure you've got the tack that fits them. So a saddle, a girth, a bridle and maybe a few other things if they already have it like a martingale or if typically they have a breastplate on you might want to speak to the current owners just to see why they've got these things what things that you, you may need for them as well next thing you're going to need is the saddle pad or numner so of course you're going to need that to be able to put the saddle on you don't need as many colors as i have Another thing to think about is boots, what sort of boots your horse is going to have. So you might need some overreach boots, um, you might want some tendon boots. Um, so I would definitely say this would be something that you want to ask the current owner as well. However, think about what sort of things you'll be doing with your horse. If you're going to go eventing or if you're going to um, do a lot of jumping or cross country or if instead you, you're not going to do much, they're a happy hacker, you might not need any boots at all. If they overreach, you might want to think about getting some overreach boots for them in the field, not just for when you ride. So yeah, it would all depend on the horse that you get. Next thing you're going to need is rugs. Again, the horse might come with rugs, um, but it really, really depends. You're going to definitely want like a fleece for the stable, a stable rug. Um, and you're always going to want at least like one or two turnout rugs. So I would definitely get like a waterproof sheet for when it's raining, but maybe not that cold and then one for when it's a little bit colder as well depending on your horse probably will depend on how many rugs you need my horse is a native pony he's a Connemara so he doesn't have as many rugs as say a thoroughbred might have because they do get a lot colder you may also want like a cooler rug there's pl there's loads of rugs you can look at cooler rugs fly rugs um cooler rugs are really good for when your horse is like really sweaty or if you've just given them a bath or something you can pop that on a few extra things that you might just want to think about is things like a horse box first of all i don't actually have one of these someone at the yard does and you can pay her to like transport your horse to competitions and things or you might even need a horse box to take them to the vet now it's quite expensive to hire but it does depend if it's in your price range to actually buy one as well. It's completely up to you getting either a horse box or a trailer to put on the back of your car. But it is a good idea if you, you're going to take your horse out a lot. I would definitely say if you're an inventor, 
it'd probably be a good idea to get your own. And then a first aid box you may want to think about getting as well. I have a first aid box that has a few things in for me. And then I've also got some gloves, but then I've got a lot of products for the horse as well. So if he cuts himself, you can get loads of products. I would definitely say go into your local like horse shop and ask them what you may need in certain scenarios because they might give you like hibby scrub or you may be able to use a few other products instead. Right guys, so that is it. There are of course a lot of things that I've gone through already but there are a lot of other things that you may consider getting and it can be like really, really overwhelming when you get your first horse and it does really differ depending on the horse that you get and if you get given all the things that all the things like tack and rugs and things when you actually get your horse um so definitely have a good look about it don't worry and if you are getting your own horse good luck it will be really really great fun so if you want any more information of course you can look online if you're from britain there's like the british horse society website to look at there's various different websites and magazines and things to look at and youtube videos and um, so if there are any other how to or beginner guide YouTube videos that you would like, please let me know down in the comments below. And do give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks guys.